Hey, what's up everybody, it's Elliot here. We've all been there. You've got this shiny iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, but it's stuck on that pesky iCloud activation lock, or the infamous iPhone lock to owner message. It can make you feel like you've hit a brick wall. I've seen all sorts of quick fixes floating around on the internet, specific software and some sketchy services promising to unlock your device in the blink of an eye. While some might look tempting, they usually come with many hidden downsides and many of them could harm your devices or are just plain illegal. But don't worry, I've got your back. In today's video, I will show you some compelling, completely legal ways to remove that activation lock from your device. So kick back, relax, and let's get this show on the road. We're about to turn that lock device into a fully functional piece of tech ready for action. Let's get into it. Keep in mind that this information is only for responsible use. It's designed for people who own their devices but need to remember their login details. We don't promote or endorse illegal activities like breaking into stolen devices. Please follow the law and respect others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's rules and community guidelines. Now let's move on. So you've got an iPhone locked to an owner. There was a time when my buddy Chris forgot his access info and thought everything needed to be recovered. But you know what? Solutions do exist. There are some solid options out there that can help sort this out. For instance, there's this nifty thing called Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's pretty powerful and user-friendly. That's not it, we've got Safe Unlocks as well. It's helped a ton of folks already. Then there's another called Locked to Owner. Quite a crackerjack at its job. And let's remember the iUnlock app. It's got a good reputation for making that locked screen a thing of the past. All these services are handy and worth a look, but it's up to you to see which does the trick. Now I'm just sharing some information for educational purposes. We're all about helping out and making sure each solution stays unique. Okay, so we've talked about these services. In the next step, we'll explore how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Stay tuned for that, it's going to be a game changer. It's essential to remember that these unlocking services mainly function in first world countries. If for any reason you're unable to access these services or you'd prefer not to use them, we've got another option for you. We offer 250 unlocks every week for our video viewers. Want to get in on this? Here's what you need to do. Like this video. Next, hit the subscribe button. Finally, please comment below. Include your phone model, IMEI, and country. As soon as you've done these steps, you're automatically entered for a chance to be among our 250 weekly unlocks. Remember, every single step is crucial. No shortcuts here, folks. Let's get to it. All right, let's get started. First, open your browser. It can be on your phone or your computer. Type in unlockhere.com. This neat little web app uses an AI assistant named Nifty to help unlock any mobile phone restrictions you might be dealing with. Now you want to communicate to Nifty that you want to unlock an iCloud lock. You'll accomplish this by clicking on Activation Lock. Once you're there, specify that you have an iPhone. But don't worry if your Apple device is not an iPhone as there are also iPad or Apple Watch options. Next, you will input either your IMEI or serial number. What is the difference? Let me clarify. iPhones have IMEIs, so if your device is an iPhone, use the IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs, but only if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. If not, they'll have a serial number. How did you find this information? Press the sleep button on your lock device, press it again, and then tap on the information icon at the bottom right. Your device's information is there. After that, remember to put in your device information in the following step. This is quite crucial. Then you'll input some of your basic information. This is necessary to attach the order to your account, and you must be truthful to receive your order confirmation. Agree to the terms and check the box confirming that you're not unlocking a stolen device. Then solve the quick captcha to prove that you're human, and then tap start process. Now go to your email and find the message with the confirmation code. If you can't find it, check your spam or junk folder as sometimes it ends up there. Take this confirmation code and go back to the Unlock Here website. Please put in the code to validate again that you're not a robot, and there you have it. Your unlock process has started, and your device will be unlocked soon. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone, and as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked, so it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. 
It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap, forget password, or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. That's all there is to this method. But if something else suits your preferences, stick around. After this segment, we have another more appealing technique. So keep watching. Let's explore more alternative ways to unlock that annoying iCloud activation lock. Let's start by emphasizing that bypassing this lock should be done legally. You can employ some effective methods without resorting to shady online services. Method 1. Contacting Apple Support. If you have the original purchase receipt of the device, Apple Support can assist you with the process. You will need to prove the device's ownership, and the process can take a few days. Method 2. Through the previous owner. Another legal avenue is through the previous owner if you purchased the device secondhand. Reach out to them and kindly request that they unlock the device. They can do this remotely by logging into their Apple iCloud account and removing the device from their list. Of course, this option is dependent on your relationship with the seller or the previous owner. Method 3. Resetting via recovery mode. If you can't contact the previous owner, resetting the device via recovery mode is another option. This method will erase all data and settings, including the activation lock. Nevertheless, remember that these methods might only work in some situations. They work best when you legally own the device and wish to recover access after forgetting your login details. Apple has put these iCloud lock measures in place for security reasons, and bypassing them without following their guidelines can lead to potential legal issues. There's more to cover so stay tuned for our next tutorials to explore more iCloud unlocking methods.